Hey guys, Jacob Wheeler here at the Indie Boats and Travel Show. I want to talk to you a little bit about chatterbaits. There's a lot of different baits out there that catch them, but a chatterbait is definitely one of them that is a uh, pretty good little bait. And, and the one thing that about a chatterbait right here, I have one little black blade, uh, Magic Shad. You know, I throw a couple different trailers. I throw a Magic Shad on him, I throw, uh, you know, I throw a G in the room hammer crawl. It all depends. Really, those are my two favorite trailers just because of the fact of. For me, it's, it's either I want that bait to lift or I want that bait to track, you know, a little bit more true. I want that bait to track where, you know, this magic shad is not going to have a lot of lift. A, a hammer crawl is going to lift more. So if I'm fishing shallower, I'm going to use a hammer crawl. If I'm fishing deeper, I'm going to use a magic shad. And it also depends on what the, they're actually eating. If they're eating bluegill, I might switch it up and use that hammer crawl. It's going to look a little bit more like you have a little more action. So you just got to switch it up. Colors wise, make it easy. And right here is a little green pumpkin -y look. Green pumpkin, black, blue. White, those are my three. I, you know, I, there's white chartreuse, there's tons of colors out there. But really, I'm either gonna eat a bluegill, they're either gonna you know, eat a shad, or a black and blue that catches bass wherever you go. And, and one thing that I will give you a tip when we're going away, when you're winding that chatterbait, let it go to the bottom first. Wind that chatterbait slower. A lot of my bites, I've caught, I've caught big, a lot of big fish on chatterbait. And the one thing about it is when you wind that chatterbait around, you need to really pay attention to what's going on. You feel what's going on down there, you wind around, keep it towards the bottom. Those big ones that come up there and they'll just grab it. And they don't you don't even just you know when you get a bite on a chowder, a lot of times when they bite it, you wind down and you pull. Do not set the hook. It's not a jig bite. They grab it, they grab the head first, you grab a hold of it, let them have them for a second, wind and pull. And you're gonna catch a lot more fish. So hopefully these tips help you out. Try to chatterbait out, it's definitely a good bait.